What's good YouTube, it's your boy Musa back with another video. Excuse the dressing gown, the hair's a bit messy. Man, just come out of the shower. It's Today is the first week of this Get Sharp series. So three this is, I think. That's for, you know, let me talk to you guys about how the first week is going, the results and everything from week one. I'm um, gonna we'll be doing this a lot more. So hopefully you guys enjoy it, pick up some information. So week one is done, as you can see by the title, we lost just a little over 4 kg. Um, in the first week we went from 108 kilos to 103.8 which you can round it up to 104 whatever but just a little over 4 kg in the first week now don't get too happy because i ain't getting too happy either because i've been doing this whole dieting thing for a while so i do know the majority of that is water weight there's so many factors into it which i want to talk to you guys about now some of you might be like oh that's too much <laughs> I don't know yeah, I'm saying, I don't know. That I don't, I'm not one of those that focus on the scale. I'm gonna be doing, doing a separate video on, you know what I mean, what you, you focus on when you're doing your weight loss. That's a separate video. You know I mean, man's gotta be able to upload like, every every other every every other day or every third day that's what i'm trying to do with these next 12 weeks for you guys just to show you guys the journey be as transparent as i can be and show you everything so let's talk about intermittent fasting um this is something that i use for majority of the year not just when i'm cutting i just feel good when i fast for like 16 anywhere between 16 to 20 hours i feel amazing with these last seven days i have done a lot i think i've done like three 20 hour fast within the seven days that's just me not being hungry i'm not gonna lie to you when you go i've gone on back on the keto diet but i've, have, I've got a little different approach this time last time i went for so many like creams and full fats you know like the all the creamies and the nuts like the very high dense foods but very low portion like portion wise it wasn't very filling so i've changed that up to now more like grass-fed meats and stuff like that and a lot of veggies to keep me full for a long time keep me satiated i really feel amazing these seven days intermittent fasting is great for just overall fat loss portion control mental clarity and just resetting your immune system you know what i mean your cells your everything just it's just great i love it i love intermittent fasting if you want to know about intermittent fasting you can do your research there's tons of videos on YouTube about intermittent fasting. Um, also, I'm Muslim, so I do fasting when it comes to Ramadan, so I know how it does make me feel. Um, although that's a kind of different fast, because obviously there's no water involved, whereas this one, I can drink water, tea, coffee, of course, no sugars and whatnot. Um, so it is slightly different, but I've, I've, I've felt the whole fasting and what it does to my body and what it does to my, my overall thinking and everything process. It does take some getting used to, especially if you're a beginner. I would say ease into it, start off with something like 10 hours, then increase it to 12, then go 14, 16, you know, slowly get comfortable with it. You start seeing your, you, you start losing weight very fast. It's a tool that a lot of bodybuilders use or a lot of fitness people use. I'm sure you guys have heard it plenty of times in other fitness channels, intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting. Doctors even recommend it if you're overweight or you have some type of like illness or something like that. Fasting is just a Overall, it's just great because your whole body has time to do its thing. So try it out if you're interested. Next thing on the list is, like I said, water weight. In the first couple of days, because I've gone back to keto, which means my carbs have dropped almost to exact zero. And now I'm I'm replacing carbs with fat as my energy source. It does take some time for me. Even though I've been in keto for majority of the year, for the last three, four years. So I go back into ketosis pretty fast simply because my body is kind of used to that whole using fat as energy so it doesn't take me as long as it would in the beginning when i first did keto it took like two three weeks for me to get into keto because i was still new to it trying to understand it i wasn't my carbs weren't reduced as much i was still using things that had carbs in it you know them hidden carbs and stuff whereas now i've kind of mastered keto this time i haven't got the keto flu and all that stuff because i've kept my electrolytes up you know that salt intake has to be high that himalaya salt has been on all my meals keto flu i haven't had it this time because i understand it even better but you do drop a lot of water weight when you change carbs as energy to fat as energy source so that alone has made the whole weight even even crazier simply because i've changed my energy source water weight there next thing something like these are little things tools that can help with weight loss 
walking. I'm sure you guys have seen previous videos where I would like walking has been great for me, not just for weight loss purposes, but also clear thinking, coming up with ideas for videos and all that stuff, like things I want to do in the future. All that goodness, also you get to burn extra calories, you know. I go for a walk around two hours, which is around like 18,000 steps. That's what I normally aim for on a daily. I don't do that every day because sometimes my body does get tired, but I aim for doing that pretty much every other day or five times out of the week. And I burn above a thousand calories just doing that um, without really thinking about it. Um, I'm listening to audio books while walking. Sometimes I don't listen to nothing. Sometimes I listen to music. Depends on how I feel. Walking is a great tool just to add in there. I say a normal person should aim for like 10,000 steps daily, especially now that we're in lockdown. I forgot to mention that we're in lockdown this whole time. So me doing this cut in lockdown with no gym and everything, it's gonna be very challenging very challenging but i'm up for the challenge another thing that i've done is aerobic training home workouts um, i don't know if you guys have heard of the insanity workout which i've done for many years uh, if my friend lee's watching this video he'll know i used to do that way back in the day when i was like in college uni so i've been doing that workout for some time it's just full on full body training squats lunges push-ups jumping jacks everything <laughs> it's insane shorty is not you don't joke you don't play so that's also helped you can burn from anywhere up to a thousand calories in one workout so again and the more calories being burned and now that i'm using my my keto my body's using fat as energy sources i'm walking i'm doing aerobic training i'm doing intermittent fasting there's so many things that i'm doing that's just helping um of course i don't want to i don't want to lose weight crazy fast but i do want it to be steady and yeah that's pretty much all the tools i'm using so far but i do want to say this this is just the beginning it's only week one we're heading in the right direction but i still have a long way to go 103.8 is still heavy like it's not it's not lightweight <laughs> it's still heavy that's way above that what i want to be i want to be around 94 94 93 i know i said 96 in the previous video but honestly i want to go around 94 93 um, which is over like that's around 10 kilos i've got to lose within the next three four months and i know some of you are thinking well you lost four in the first week you should be able to lose 10 within the next three months it ain't that easy if i want to keep muscle mass and only lose body fat i'm gonna have to start doing a bit of weight training and stuff like that and also be careful that i'm not doing crazy amounts of cardio to the point where i'm starting to use my protein basically my muscle as as a burning thing you know if i fast for too long my body's gonna start processing <clears throat> protein and all that stuff so i don't want to lose a ton of muscle as well which i will be doing because i'm not having that resistant training aerobic training is great but it's not resistance so i have all the dumbbells though don't worry let me stop playing no more I ordered some 30 kg dumbbells, 15 kg dumbbells, 8 kg dumbbells, resistant bands, some mats to put on my floor. Next thing I'm gonna be ordering is a bench press. I'm I'm, I'm about to make a whole house gym because I don't care. I'm about to buy treadmill, all that goodness because I don't care no more. All this lockdown is getting a bit ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? So might as well put my money to good use, invest in myself. Can I say that again? I'm gonna say that again. I'm gonna invest in myself. Jeez, I love it. That's what I'm saying. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Week one complete. Let's just keep pushing. Hopefully some of you are following me on this journey. Maybe you guys are looking to do a diet yourself. Um, hopefully I can inspire you guys along the way. Body fat percentage right now, I'm, I'm guessing like 25%, but my body fat percentage is pretty high. I hold a lot of my fat in my core area. So midsection, which most males do. Lower back as well. You know, they love handles and that, most males. And a little bit in my legs. So, you know, as long as you know yourself and where you hold your fat, you just keep at it, keep pushing. Um, just stay consistent. Consistency is very key when it comes to this whole weight loss journey. You have to be consistent, and stay disciplined and just trust the process. Trust your work, what you're doing. And one thing I didn't mention, I'm not actually counting calories right now. Within the first week, I didn't count any macros. I literally ate at a, why? Because again, I've been doing this for a while, but I still ate a portion control. And I know some of you be like, but count calories music you need to count calories your weight loss could have been more drastic not really and I'm, I'm not really in the whole calorie world i'm trying to do this almost like caveman type of way back in the day cavemen didn't really have phones and whatnot you know what i mean the food they had in front of them is what they ate and they still managed to look like 300 and then man there so i was like you know let me give it a try this time not really count macros if i get to a point where i'm like okay my weight's pretty just stagnant I'm just gonna remove certain things from certain meals that I eat. I'm pretty much eating the same meals daily. So yeah, that's the that's my approach for now. 
they will, when I do start counting calories, I will let you guys know. But as for now, I'm not counting calories. I'm just eating food and sticking to my principles that I've been doing in the previous years for dieting. Obviously, this year is a bit different. There's no resistant training, but that will soon come. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe so you can follow me on this journey, this 12-week journey. And as always, love life, love life, love life. Peace.